Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to come on here and do an update on the whole Meg the Stallion situation. I know a lot of people were wondering what I was thinking with the whole drama that went down with, with her and Partisan Fontaine. Um, I just kind of just sat back and sipped tea. I wasn't really going to feed into it because nobody really knew what was going on. Um, so what happened is that basically her and Party were trending on the 16th because allegedly Party was trying to break down her door. And her friends were screaming at him to get out that, you know, Meg was on the toilet. So this went viral. Folks were really worried about Meg. They felt like she was in an abusive relationship. People were attacking party. It was crazy. So y'all yeah, go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. No, come, no, I don't, I don't give a f what y'all talking about. Tell me to come to the door. Girl, y'all got five seconds before I come through the door. All right, so you guys just saw that video that went viral earlier in the week. Well, now, as of yesterday, um, Meg came out and basically she is defending Party. She has admitted that that is her boyfriend, that is her boo. And she also asked her hotties to stop attacking him. And so she's been posting a lot of videos up with um, Party and them flirting with each other and, you know, loving on each other and everything else. So y'all go ahead and check out these videos. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Like I did not like how everybody, not even everybody, people don't be knowing what the hell they talking about and they just be saying anything. I didn't like what they were trying to say about party. Oh sweet. And very, you know, <laughs> my boo. Oh, He's a piece of chocolate. <laughs> he is. One thing about me, when I get a boyfriend, <laughs> y'all not about to play with my man. <laughs> he probably on this live. <laughs> okay, let me get off. <laughs> Just makes me happy. What? Hotties, I'm a bitch. We still hot girls and we do hot shit. But, you know. Now we got a hot boy, too. Mr. Hot Boy. <laughs> Party is Mr. Hot Boy. You know what I can say? Go. What's the game? Let's play, um, Truth or Dare. Okay, but the hottie said they dare you to take three shots back to back. Come on, come on. Shoot that's what they said. Let's be for real, though. Shoot but that's what they said. That's what they dared you to do? That's what they dared you to do. I just took three shots. That's not true. Bitch. I just took three. Be that's what they said. Nah, pick another one. No, that's the dare they said. <laughs> they keep talking about my bangs. You told them we was up? Hmm? Told them we was up? No, I can't say it, but I'll just say I'm at work. Oh, uh, she working. All right, so you guys just watch the video. You guys watch Megan tell her fans, you know, to not harass them and to go tell them to not be mad at her. And, you know, it's a bunch of mess, but it looks like they've worked everything out. And, you know, that's who she's with. She spent Valentine's Day with him. Um, it looks like he got her a lot of nice gifts and everything. Me personally, I can't stress myself out over Megan's relationship. You know, if she likes it, I love it. It is what it is. If he makes her happy and that's where she wants to be, that is her business. I see people saying that they're getting abuser tease from him and the way he's handling her and, and all this stuff. Like I said, she seems like she can handle herself just fine. So I'm going to sit back, sip tea. Hopefully this is a solid relationship for her. Um, hopefully this is the person that, you know, she sees herself being with for a while. Um, and I like the fact, too, that she actually looks small next to him. 
<laughs> for y'all who don't know, Party's like six foot five. He's huge. So, you know, it's funny to see Megan next to him and she looks so small because she's like 5'11". Because usually she's the one towering over, you know, Tori and all these other guys that she's talked to. So I think she feels pretty protected um, with Party. One, because of his height and, you know, his personality. But, you know, like I said, I just hope this is a genuine connection and I hope that, you know, they genuinely get to know each other. And that was just a one time fluke with all the drama that happened with her in the bathroom. So now on to other Make the Stallion news. We had a great discussion yesterday on Instagram. Um, a lot of people were highly upset and highly offended by her bizarre magazine, by her Harper's Bazaar magazine photo shoot. People were calling for the photographer to be fired. People were trying to blackball and blacklist Bazaar magazine. It was just insane. Folks were saying her pictures looked horrible, that she looked like a man. I mean, so many people were clowning Megan all over social media yesterday, all over Twitter. And so this is what I wrote on Instagram. I said, I find it funny how these same protect all black women mush mouths are now clowning Meg's photos and saying that she looks bad in her pictures and saying that she she looks mannish. Some folks are even attacking the photographer, and this is why I don't take these hashtag warriors seriously. Y'all only care about certain black women when it's convenient, and as soon as they don't fit whatever mold y'all want them to fit at the time, y'all drag and clown them. It seems to me that people are more pressed because the photos aren't airbrushed and photoshopped to the gods. This was a more natural shoot, but y'all are so used to fakery that it shocks you when you don't see perfection. If Meg felt fine with her pictures and okayed them, then why the hell are y'all so pressed about it nothing but a bunch of weirdo hypocrisy so now she's the butt of all jokes on twitter but y'all are protecting black women right hashtag carry on hb additionally the retouched photos along with the corresponding article highlight why the rapper decided against going with a full beat and being over stylized i'm realizing that i don't have to be in full glam every time you see me because i'm just getting more comfortable with myself and more comfortable with my skin meg revealed so of course after all the mess from social media megan went to repost the photoshopped pictures you know it's really sad that we live in a day and age where people claim they want one thing oh kylie jenner wears too much makeup oh all the fakery on instagram oh all this heavy makeup and fake bodies and then when somebody tries to give you realness that's unretouched and i believe she looked just fine she gets clowned and told, oh, the lighting's horrible. She looks bad. She looks mannish. So a lot of y'all are not really into natural stuff. A lot of y'all are, are not as deep as y'all try to make it seem. A lot of y'all are just as fake and superficial as the same people that you talk shit about on Instagram. And I also believe that a section of the population has just literally not been brainwashed to not realize what it is to just have natural beauty, what it is to just look a certain way. Everybody's so used to being fed Photoshop imagery and, you know, uh, overly glamorous pictures with heavy makeup, crazy hairstyles that when you just have somebody just doing a natural beat, it's it's ridiculed and shitted on. So, like I said, to me, it spoke more about these fake ass fans than anything where they'll attack a commentator for speaking real stuff. But then in the same breath, turn around and attack their face because they're not living to some weirdo perception that they have in their mind. I particularly like the shoot and I'm glad that she took a more natural route. But unfortunately, from what I'm seeing on social media, natural is not in. People just say it because it sounds good, but their actions to me say otherwise. So all that, oh my God, and you know, girls need to stop changing their bodies and stop with the drag queen makeup and all that shit, please. That's what a lot of y'all want because if that's not what a lot of y'all want, she wouldn't have been trending number one on for a natural photo shoot with people clowning her, threatening the photographer, and acting a damn fool behind a photo shoot that she co-signed and that she was okay with. So it says a lot more about society than anything so that is what i had to say about the situation i didn't see anything wrong with the pictures they were different um they were more high fashion her poses may have been a little awkward to some people but she's not a model she's a rapper you know um and i just thought it was just really tacky how folks were attacking her because of her photo shoot and attacking the photographer and the people who put a lot of hard work into this and you know at the end of the day if she saw the pictures because they had to run it by the artist and if her and her team thought the pictures were nice and they liked them, 
that's all that matters. But unfortunately, you have all these folks who talk out of both sides of their necks. They want to protect black women, but then in the same breath will turn around and clown a black woman's looks. But then in the same breath cry when light skinned women like Danny Lee, you know, put themselves up on a pedestal. So at this point, social media can miss me with the hypocrisy and the nonsense. I will always hold any artist to task when it comes to serious topics, when it comes to things that they're involved in. I have no problem with that. But when it comes to trying to clown somebody about their looks or demean them and say that a woman is a man because you don't like her pose, to me, it's just disgusting. So I, I wasn't feeling the way that she was being treated yesterday on social media. But again, y'all are going to do what y'all want to do. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. How do you guys feel about Meg Thee Stallion and Party Fontaine finally getting together and her claiming him as her boo and her boyfriend? How do you guys feel about their relationship? Do you like them together? Do you not like them together? And then how do you feel about the drama that went on earlier in the week versus her and Party doing the live stream and trying to, you know, squash the rumors that there was anything abusive or bad going on? And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about the Harper's Bazaar magazine fiasco um, that people were so mad and so upset about? Um, let me know your thoughts on that how do you guys feel about the pictures and how did you guys feel about the disrespect that Meg not only Meg the Stallion was receiving but everyone attached to Harper's Bazaar how do you guys feel about that as well so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to leave a comment make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you thumbs up the video uh, share the video if you feel like it and last but not least make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad honey talk to y'all later deuces